The VKB Gladiator NXT Evo is the absolute best budget joystick that you need for your setup. With a lot of programmable buttons and extremely accurate sensors, this joystick offers great value. This setup will easily improve the quality of your flying skills. Now I have done tons of research and have a lot of experience using many flight controls, from my old X65F to a more expensive force sensing stick. So I have a great amount of insight into what makes this joystick great. So why should you buy this stick over any other in its weight class? Well in today's video, we'll cover all of the Gladiator NXT's features, provide a more in-depth analysis of the internals and overall quality, compare it to others in the market, and I'll give you my personal experience with it over the last couple of months. If you love to discuss Star Citizen and enjoy seeing all of the great sim gear and peripherals in the market, smash that like button and consider supporting the channel by clicking that subscribe button so you can stay informed. VKB manufactures a range of high quality controllers for flight and space simulator enthusiasts such as joysticks and rudder pedals as an engineering and manufacturing company. In addition to designing, developing, and manufacturing professional and consumer controllers, the company also provides engineering services. Many of their products began as a more premium option back in the day. For the longest time, the budget options on the market were limited, leaving companies like SciTech and Logitech to provide products that are quite honestly the bottom of the barrel in some regards. Now I say that coming from my own experience with the X65F, the X52, and the X56. Sadly, the X52 and X56 did not sit on my desk very long before I returned them. Now before I begin, I want to first say that these sticks were provided to me by VKB, but this video isn't sponsored by them and these are my unbiased thoughts and opinions based on my experience with them over the last two months now. What I have is the Premium NXT EVO, which comes in at $165 US dollars, and the Premium NXT EVO Omni priced at $175 US dollars. For this I give the joystick a 10 out of 10 for its incredible value. With a dry clutch adjustment that controls resistance and return time, the NXT EVO offers incredibly accurate control thanks to its contactless Mars sensors. If you would like your stick to fly like a helicopter, you can remove the springs, retaining your grip. This is perfect if you wish to use the VKB's left-handed Omni throttle to control your ship in Star Citizen by simply removing the spring for the Y-axis and adjusting the dry clutch to reach the desired level of resistance. It comes with three different springs to adjust its strength and has twist functionality that you can lock with the provided screw. The stick has a removable hand rest for the giants out there. Now the buttons are all very tactile and feel crisp when activating, and it's obvious when you activate the button and doesn't feel mushy like some other sticks I've used. Here's looking at you, X65. It comes complete with a two-stage trigger, three hats, two separate buttons in the front of the trigger, one on the side, a pinky switch, a weapons release button, and has three buttons on the base, an auto-centering three-position switch, a throttle axis, and a rotary encoder. Now on the standard model, the hat on the side of the stick, where your thumb rests, is a single button, and the two-position switch in front of the trigger is removed. The standard model costs $30 less than the premium, and is a great option for those wishing to keep costs lower. One of the standout features of the VKB Gladiator NXT EVO is its customization potential. VKB's software allows you to tweak almost every aspect of the joystick's performance, from button assignments to response curves. This level of customization ensures that the joystick can be tailored to your specific needs, whether you're a casual player or a hardcore flight sim enthusiast. Additionally, the community around VKB products is vibrant and supportive, offering tips, profiles, and mods to further enhance your experience. Now when you install the software and plug in the Gladiator NXT EVO, the biggest step is to calibrate it. This is relatively easy with the software, but I will mention that I haven't put much time into learning what I can do with the software and the many options that it has. At some point I would like to do a video on it, but that will have to wait. Once the calibration is complete, you can hop into Star Citizen, head to the options menu, and configure your controls. The VKB Gladiator NXT EVO is recognized by the game and you can customize your key bindings to match your preferences. This is where the abundance of buttons and switches really shines, allowing you to map everything from targeting and firing weapons to managing shields and power distribution. Once you hop into the game, immediately the precision of the joystick becomes apparent. The high precision sensors make aiming and maneuvering a breeze. Dogfighting in Star Citizen demands quick reflexes and precise control, and the NXT EVO delivers on both fronts. The ergonomic design means that you can stay in the fight longer without any discomfort. Switching between different targets, managing power to shields and weapons, and executing complex maneuvers feels natural. The tactile feedback of the buttons and switches adds to the immersive experience, making every action feel deliberate and controlled. Exploring the universe of Star Citizen often involves long journeys and precise navigation. 
The NXT Evo excels in this aspect as well. The smooth movement of the joystick ensures that you can make fine adjustments to your trajectory, whether you're navigating an asteroid field or docking at a space station. The customizable buttons allow you to set up shortcuts for common actions like scanning, deploying landing gear, and managing your ship systems. This reduces the need to navigate menus or utilize your keyboard, keeping your focus on the journey ahead. I give the precise performance, the great tactile feedback of the buttons and hats, a solid 9 out of 10. There could be a little bit of refinement to make things feel even more crisp, but it does an amazing job, especially given its price. A crucial aspect of any gaming hardware is its durability. The VKB Gladiator NXT Evo is built to withstand the rigors of intense gameplay. The robust construction and high quality materials mean that this joystick is designed to last. After extensive use, the joystick shows no signs of wear and tear. The buttons remain responsive and the stick's movement is as smooth as the day it was unboxed. This reliability ensures that your investment in the NXT Evo will pay off for many years to come. For durability, I give it an 8 out of 10, as it's far better than many budget options out there that come from other major manufacturers. While the majority of this is a hard ABS plastic, there isn't any additional flex of any part of the joystick when you're applying an abnormal amount of grip. Now given that I come from a force sensing stick that is operated purely by advanced force sensors, and I come from a background where the sticks I normally use are made out of hard metal and extremely expensive sensors and gimbals that I can't even buy. So I'm probably a bit more firm with my grip than an average person using this. Because of that, it's worth noting that this stick is extremely solid and stable, even if you run this thing on your desk with the metal base attached. Unless you're really pushing this thing around, it feels extremely planted. I run mine attached to my MTS rig, so it feels even better when mounted. For stability when using it on a desk, I give it a 7.5 out of 10. VKB does well to provide it with a solid base that limits movement, but it's far from perfect. Mounting this joystick, of course, gives it a perfect 10 out of 10. Now the ergonomics is another thing I want to highlight. As I mentioned before, the grip comes with two different size hand rests that can be removed in the event that you have them man paws and are a giant unlike us lesser life forms. All of the buttons are positioned very well, and I really don't feel like I have to reach far to activate each button. For ergonomics, I give this a 10 out of 10. Now keep in mind, I used to have a Cytec X52, 65F, and X56, and the ergonomics of these joysticks are absolutely terrible in comparison to the Gladiator NXT Evo. This is just one part of why I love this over any traditional joystick I've ever used. It's not quite as good as my real simulator FSSB, but the NXT Evo is one eighth of the price, and its level of quality is on par with some of the more premium options out there. I also haven't used any of Winwing's or Verbal's joysticks. I would love to have a showdown between all of them at some point though. When you do get this thing plugged in and calibrated, all of your buttons and control curves set in Star Citizen, the Gladiator NXT Evo is a dream to fly with. The sensors provide pinpoint accuracy and quick response, and the springs and dampers make it feel crisp and smooth. The buttons provide an amazing tactile feeling and it makes you feel connected to your ship. While it was hard finding something wrong with this joystick, the only thing that I would say that is really a con that I have concerns about is that the gimbal is a glass reinforced nylon instead of something like Verpal's aluminum cam system. However, this allows VKB to keep costs down to make it affordable for the average user and glass reinforced nylon is surprisingly strong. And given that most of the other major manufacturers like Logitech and Thrustmaster use plastic instead of what VKB uses, it's not much of a con, to be honest. It's still extremely sturdy, feels solid, and will absolutely hold up longer than something like a T16000 or X56. When compared to something of similar value, the closest thing that we have is the Thrustmaster T16000 and the X52. Now I don't have a 16K, and I got rid of my X52 a while ago, so it's been a while since I've used a traditionally designed joystick. But what I do remember is how the stick bounces excessively when you either return to center or just let go. Joysticks with that older design are exactly why I advocate for players to avoid them, simply due to the fact that they can often result in excessive PIO, or pilot-induced oscillation. While the T16000M does come with a throttle for close to the same price tag, the NXT Evo is a far better value given its overall higher premium build quality, vastly superior sensors, and way better spring and damper design. As I've mentioned earlier, I've used these joysticks for the last two months, and since I've been using them, there is a night and day improvement in my flying skills. 
I still have my own struggles with getting the sensitivity curve set just right in Star Citizen to reduce my PIO further, but in DCS I am rock solid. But of course that's no surprise given I have more flight hours in DCS than in Star Citizen by a long shot. Furthermore, this was arguably one of the easiest joysticks to go from unboxed to flyable and required very little effort. Now there's still some given that you will have to assemble it when you receive it, but it's nothing compared to other premium options. After extensive testing in Star Citizen, it's clear that the VKB Gladiator NXT Evo is a top tier joystick for any series pilot. Its precision, ergonomic design, and robust build quality make it an excellent choice for the complex and immersive universe of Star Citizen. Whether you're engaging in intense dogfights, exploring uncharted territories, or trading across the galaxy, the NXT Evo enhances every aspect of your experience. Its customization options and durable construction ensure that it will remain a reliable companion on your journey through the stars. So to recap, the performance and customizability of the joystick get a 10 out of 10 for its precise sensors and mini buttons and hats. Durability and build quality get an 8 out of 10 for its strong glass fiber reinforced nylon gimbal that will last for years. The stability and sturdiness of the base get a 7.5 out of 10 because while the base plate is heavy and has really great rubber pads that prevent it from moving around, there can be a little bit of movement under heavy load. The ergonomics of this joystick receive a 10 out of 10, and the value of the NXT EVO also receives a 10 out of 10 due to its high performance and quality to cost ratio. Overall, the VKB Gladiator NXT EVO receives a total score of 9.1 out of 10, making it an incredible option for players looking for an amazing joystick that will perform extremely well, hold up against a decent amount of abuse, and feels extremely comfortable, all without breaking the bank. If you're looking to elevate your star system gameplay, the VKB Gladiator NXT EVO is a worthy investment. Its performance and features make it a standout choice in the world of flight and space simulation hardware. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comments what you think of this joystick, as I would love to hear your thoughts. Remember to join our community by subscribing to this channel where you'll be provided clear and concise news and updates on Star Citizen and reviews of some of the best gear and peripherals in the sim and gaming market. If you want to join the channel and support the creation of these videos, then consider becoming a member and get special perks such as loyalty badges, priority replies, and access to special channels in my Discord. And if you want more information on everything coming out in 3.24, then you'll want to check out this video. Fly safe, pilots, and I will see you in the next video. Have a go.